Our four-legged friends have been by our sides throughout the pandemic. And while extremely rare, some have caught the virus. An Oahu woman who had COVID-19 last year recently noticed her dog had difficulty breathing and had to have one of his lungs removed. Could the dog have gotten COVID? Nikki Schenfeld spoke to a vet to find out. When Hawaii was shut down, Angela Kane dedicated her time tracking down people who broke the state's mandatory quarantine to help keep the people of Hawaii safe. But sure enough, the virus found its way into her home last spring, infecting her husband too. Their dog Scooter was by their side. We sleep in the same bed together. We, he was at my beck and call. He was at my side when I was sick for eight weeks. Two months ago, their healthy 11-year-old terrier Maltese mix got sick. I started to notice that he was having this labored breathing on his exhale. We took him twice to his vet and they just couldn't find anything. Four weeks later, it got worse. She took him to the Veterinary Emergency Referral Center. And he went through tons of x-rays and exams and all kinds of things. And they figured out that he had blisters on his lung called Bulla and that he had a collapsed lung. And that collapsed lung was there for at least three to four weeks. Experts say Bula is extremely rare in dogs. Keen and her husband, both out of work due to COVID, scrambled to raise $20,000 for the surgery. The blisters broke open, the lung was leaking air, and there was nothing else that could be done except for to remove that lung. The vet said that this has been in his lungs for quite a while. So is it possible that I passed on COVID to him. One veterinarian says it can't be ruled out. According to the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service Agency, there have been 89 cases of SARS-CoV-2 found in cats, 78 in dogs, and 17 in tigers. None, however, were confirmed in Hawaii. We're learning more every day. Um, there was a big scare in the beginning because we think that animals can get COVID-19. Um, particularly cats seem to get it more easily. She says studies in COVID-positive households found very few dogs got sick or caught the virus. Without meeting Scooter, she suspects he had some lingering chronic bronchitis, which is common in older small breeds. And those are the cases where there's existing disease that potentially they could, if they were infected with coronavirus, develop sort of a worsening of their existing disease. But says it's unlikely it would take a year for the disease to develop in Scooter. But again, we can't rule it out. We say there's probably no chance, but it could happen. Um, because again, we didn't study that dog at the time that mom was sick. And again, Dr. Pressler says cats are more likely to get sick with the coronavirus than dogs, and she recommends staying away from your furry friends if you're feeling ill. Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.